What is up, my most amazing Media Man fans? This is the Media Man. As you can see on my screen, it says Media Man right in the top middle. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different tonight. I've been wanting to go back and try PlayStation Now again. I did try the beta. Eh, it was okay. I mean, not a whole lot to write home about. Certainly wouldn't pay for it. Um, but apparently they've done a lot with this. As you can see on the screen, it says 500 plus games for PS4 and PS3. Your first month is $10. Now something to, to know is that after this first month, it's $19.99. And they'll automatically charge you for that unless you cancel it. So um, don't sign up for $9.99 thinking it's always going to be $9.99. Now they are giving me seven free days. You can go on if you just want to try it for seven days. Just make sure if you don't like it and you don't want it to cancel it before the seven days are over. They will charge you that $10 and then the 20 so, yeah, I mean, I guess your best bet is if you decide you like it, you know, drop the $100, that's less than 10 bucks a month, but I wouldn't, uh, I don't know, 20 bucks a month seems like a lot, but we'll see. I haven't, I haven't checked it out yet, I wanted to check it out with you so you can get a, a genuine reaction of what I actually thought of this service, and I also have it on the screen right now so that you can uh, see how long it takes to load up. Um, I have Xfinity. It's pretty good. I live in a condo, so it's a little bit slower than if I was in a house. But, um, but yeah, so check this out. Let's let's do this thing. There you go. You can see it's loading. Please wait. I am. And there you go. Not. I got to the blue screen at least. So I uh, hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're healthy. That's the most important thing. Here we go. Okay. So load it up pretty quick. Um, now this is all streaming, so that is going to depend on um, if you can stream. Now when you first boot it up, because I did actually just set it up. I um, haven't checked it out yet, but I did set it up. And when you first do, it's going to ask, or it's going to do a test on your, um, your streaming capabilities. See how fast your internet is. And it will let you know if it's, if it's good, if it's bad, or you know, if, it's, if it's even worth it for you. But again, it, there is right now a seven-day trial, and then after that seven-day, they'll charge you. I believe they'll charge you the ten bucks. You might want to check, make sure they don't charge you the twenty. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure, but it is normally twenty dollars. So hey, you can see they have first thing you see is what's hot. Uh, I suppose this is what's being downloaded the most, or what's being played the most. You don't download. I'm sorry, streamed the most. Um, so some interesting games: Twisted Metal, Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. Uh, one, my, one of my favorite games, Red Dead Redemption, Tron Evolution. Now I own some of these games. So, oh cool. I've actually been wanting to wanting to try that one because I, I do like Tron a lot. But I've been wanting to uh, play Beyond Two Souls again. I played a little bit on the PS3. I did like it, but just for some reason got busy, never finished it. Arkham City. So there's some quality titles here. You can see kind of, uh, you know, there's a lot of PS3 stuff. Um, you know, we'll, you can see PS4 kind of the, it's the next thing. We'll, we'll go through that. I'm not going to go through every single game. Apparently, there's 500, but you can see. So this just kind of gives you what's been, you know, what's doing well. Saints Row 2, a lot of variety, um, and we'll go through that as well. Resogun is amazing. If you haven't played that yet, it's fantastic. It came with my system. So, um, oh, Star Wars Force Unleashed. I'm a big fan of Force Unleashed. I know it got panned by the critics a little bit. Uh, I don't care what the critics think. You guys, know that. you guys know that. I just want to have fun. So, Epic Mickey 2, yeah, skip that one. Okay, so you see, um, this is a list of the PS4 games. So, if you all you care about is PS4 games, here you go. If you've never had a PS3, you you do want to check out some of the PS3 games. But some pretty cool stuff. Everything from indies to um, to RPGs, which is cool. I'm, I'm gonna check that one out. Um, Mega Baseball, Saints Row, Tropico 5, Street Fighter. So it looks like a really good uh, variety of games. And if you're like me, you like to play all kinds of different things. Now you look at my play history. If I, This is when it first came out. They had Overlord and Papo, Papo and Yo. hope I said that right. Which is a cool little game. Uh, both of them are... I, I thought Overlord was a fun series as well. But... Again, for me, it wasn't necessarily worth a subscription. Um, they've got a lot more now, obviously. You can see the latest editions. And apparently they update this all the time. This is basically like Netflix Netflix for your PlayStation. Now, if you don't like PlayStation games, obviously, why are you watching this? 
<laughs> but, you know, maybe it's not for you. Dark Sector, that game was actually pretty fun. It's got Payday on here. I, I haven't played that yet. I heard it's really good. So, uh, GeForce was actually really fun, too. So, anyway, I could get lost in this, but so far, pretty good. I, I'm liking this. Um, some Cars games. You, you know, the Cars games are always good. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> um, but, oh, Monkey Island, Pirates. So, a lot of stuff that that I'm kind of interested in playing. This split second was a lot of fun. Came out around the same time as the last Burnout and kind of got um, looked over, but it's a great game. So uh, some exclu your PlayStation exclusives. Uh, Puppeteer was a lot of fun. There's you know a lot of indie games on here. Killzone Shadowfall I thought was better than it got credit for, but still not not amazing. Um, I may go through and do some reviews on some of these. I'm not sure why this is here because this is a Vita game and I don't think they have Vita but maybe they have I don't know if you guys have a Vita let me know I used to have a Vita I really liked it but uh, hard times got rid of it never bought another one Siren series rain heavy sword all kinds of stuff I mean pretty pretty darn cool so far I'm pretty impressed maybe worth it the, the, the $20 asking price or, or drop the hundred for the year um, I mean, I, I'll be honest, I have a hard time dropping $100 for something that I don't get to keep. You know, like once a year is done, then you got to renew and all that stuff. But uh, if you can find a good deal, it might be definitely worth it. And like I said, I love Red, Deption, Red Dead Redemption, so it has that and the Undead version. Nino Kuni is a great RPG. Uh, Last of Us, of course. Uh, my only issue with this is I do have a lot of these games. However, I do got to say there's a lot of surprises here that I wasn't expecting. The Walking Dead, um, Journey, Bioshock. If you haven't played Bioshock, for heaven's sake, stop watching this and go play it. It is a phenomenal game with one of the best, not the best ending bosses, but one of the best twists. The ending boss was super easy. I mean, I seriously could have closed my eyes and beat him. Grim Fandango, a great, uh, Fandango, a great game. Um, Injustice, Gods Among Us, Killzone 3, the Killzone series I thought was very underrated, especially the first one. Motorstorm was a lot of fun. I just like watching things blow up, so, um, Superstar, so say I'm going through all these, I, you know, I don't want this to be a, a full hour or anything, I just kind of wanted to let you guys see what they have. These are, I think, the longer games. Again, I haven't played Beyond Two Souls. Um, I do want to go back and play that again. I, I played, I had it for the PS3 for a little bit and then stopped playing it. But uh, I, I enjoyed what I played a bit, so I plan on going back. Maybe I'll even do a Let's Play. If there's any of these games you see here and you want me to do a Let's Play, let me know in the comments. Um, I am on my Patreon. Uh, if, if you do um, subscribe to my Patreon, then uh, at like the $5 level or something like that, you can basically vote for the next series you want me to play but uh but yeah let me know what you think so far um i'm gonna go through the whole thing but i would love to hear what you guys think is it worth it is any of them worth it uh, again i will be going through the xbox one and ea access um both of them have their subscription plans uh haven't been as impressed with the with the xbox one one but i'll go over that later um with you guys and let you know what i like and what i don't like about it um but yeah, um, Kung Fu Panda, uh, apparently a terrible game, but maybe I'll, maybe I'll bring back Make Man, Make Media Man Miserable Mondays, um, if, if you guys so desire. Yeah, just a lot of different, I played that one, it's kind of a fun little game for a little while. Golden Axe, I mean, a really huge variety, I, mean, I gotta say I'm pretty impressed so far with the variety. A whole Lego section, now I'm a sucker for Lego games, so this makes me very happy, this is something I can play with my boy. Um... And, uh, Media Boy. Especially, he used to love Lego Indiana Jones, so this is making me think more about maybe I'll, maybe I'll do it for a little while. And, uh, let me know what you think. I, I, may, I may go ahead and subscribe to it and do it for a month or two and then kind of give you guys an update, see if things have updated and, uh, and how it's worked. Because, again, this is the first time I've seen this since the beta, and I'm actually more impressed than I thought I would be. Uh, the Lego Harry Potter games, those were fun. Pirates of the Caribbean was fantastic. Uh, kind of short. It felt short to me for a uh, Lego game. A lot of them are really huge. But the Clone Wars was great. The Complete Saga. 
I love the Star Wars Lego games, so um, a lot of good stuff there. There's party games. I'm not sure why Pirates of the Caribbean is a party game or some of these Lego. I guess because you can play two players. But a lot of co-op stuff on here, which makes me happy. Um, if you just feel like playing some wrestling, there you go. Motorstorm Apocalypse, great game, fun game. Uh, oh, they have Third Strike on here, cool. I always thought that was a very underrated Street Fighter. People either loved it or hated it, and I thought it was cool. Online edition, so it looks like you can actually play online with this. Virtual Fighter 5 was a great fighter. Um, I'm not a huge fighting game fan, but I know quality when I when I play it. Um, Dead or Alive, another underrated series. It was great on the Dreamcast. Um, I haven't played a whole lot after that, to be honest, but uh, I, I played enough to know that it, it, it's still a great series. Luminous was a great party uh, Tetris style game with music. Critter Crunch actually had a lot of fun with that. Sacred said, I mean, there's a ton of really good stuff here. Oh, Darkstalkers, nice. So I guess fighting games are considered party games. Um, then again, this is this is PlayStation. It's not like they have, uh, you know, um, Mario Party or anything. Crazy Taxi. Now I, I do got to say I think this is their remade Crazy Taxi. So. I, I really liked the Dreamcast version and hated what they did with the, with the remakes. Took away some of the voices, changed it up a little bit. It's still the same game. If you haven't played it, it's a great game, but just not as good. Order up. Pac-Man DX is a blast. So, um, Earth Defense Force 2025, cool. Definitely worth um, popping on. Yeah, if you have a friend, hopefully you do. <laughs> you guys can get on together. I don't know how many players you can play, but pretty darn cool. So, um, again, now they have, a, they have it broken down into Disney. Uh, Split Second was Disney, and again, great. So these are games you've already seen. Toy Story Mania, actually not a terrible game. That's a good party game. Uh, Monkey Island, Cars, Phineas and Ferb. Um, just all kinds of craziness. Games for the whole family. So if you have kids and you want to play something that, you know, that's not Grand Theft Auto or something that's not going to um, be offensive to kids. Now remember, this is streaming, so um, here we go. It, it, part of the frustration for me was when uh, sometimes when you first boot it up, you, not everything shows up, so you got to wait for that to come in, but it's not too bad so far. Um, as there was Wrath, Body Count was a fun, um, not as good as the game it was based off of, which was called Black, um, a fantastic first-person shooter where everything was destructible on the PS2. One of those games that looked like it shouldn't be a, shouldn't be a, done on the PS2. In other words, like it, it just it looks so much better than most of the shooters on there, and everything was destructible, and it was just a great game. I did beat it. At the end, I did get tired of shooting people because it was like a, um, you know, what they call gun porn, I suppose. But a lot of fun. Devil May Cry series, excellent HD collection. Double Dragon. I mean, really, a lot of really good games. Now, of course, that depends. Um, by the way, this is actually El Shaddai is a really good game, and it was very underrated. So, if you do decide to go with this or try the Seven Days, check this game out. It's definitely worth it. A PS3 game. Um, I thought Ascension was the worst God of War. I walked through and I fell through the floor. Um, hopefully, I'm not too all over the place. I'm just kind of looking at these games, just reminiscing about them. Um, a lot of good stuff. That's actually a good sign because I'm, I'm, I'm looking at some stuff going, oh, i got to try that again, and oh, I want to go back and play that again. So at this point, it seems worth it, but that's really kind of up to you. If you see the $20 um, as a uh, Netflix for games and you're a big Sony fan, it's completely worth it. But you do got to look at it also as 20 bucks times 12. Well, you do the math. Um Unless you just want to drop, again, drop the 100 and then you're set for a year. So there you go. Heavenly Sword, fantastic game. One of the first games I played on the PS3 that really showed off the console. And still looks great. Warriors, Orochi, so they have everything. I'm actually really impressed. Warhawk, Starhawk's actually better. Um, Warhawk is uh, the prequel to Starhawk. Um, Uncharted the first one, Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, my favorite Uncharted. 3 was good, but 2 was just amazing. Last of Us. Um, I think they have, I don't know if this is the PS4 version, but if they have both, go with the PS4 version. It's much better. Um, the Last of Us, that is. Um, 
this is the the DLC or the extra. Uh, yeah, I guess the DLC. Um, Overkill, Darkness, both Darkness One and Darkness Two. My goodness, Starhawk. Um, a lot of good day. RPGs. This one I'm gonna check out. I'll do a let's play on it because I've been wanting to check these out. I've heard they're really good and different and all that stuff. Tales of Zestiria, Dark Souls, um, Nino Kuni, Tales of Quality. I don't know what that called Steel is. It's a lot of stuff that, you know, whether I like it or not, I get to try it, which that makes me happy because I always kind of like to see what's going on. Ooh, Eternal Sonata. This was a beautiful game. Not just graphics, but the story. Um, fantastic game. Hopefully I'm giving you some ideas if you decide to play or to, to, to you know, try the seven days or plop down the $10 for the month or, or you know, just do the 100 or the 20 or whatever you guys decide. There's different levels here. I think they should keep it at $10 a month, personally, because there's so much other stuff you wind up paying for. But um, so far, I mean, a lot of great stuff. I, I forgot, you know, I've been a Sony fan for a while, um, as well as a Microsoft. I, you know, I love all the consoles, but I've been a Sony fan for a long time. And a lot of the stuff that they... Oh, class, co Costume Quest. See, I'm kind of... I apologize for being all over the place. Because, uh, again, I'm discovering this with you guys. So, um... This is... What is this? Oh, Dragon Fin Soul. I've heard that's really good. Again, games I've never got to try. You know, um, Orcs... Of Orcs and Men. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be pretty good. No, no. Uh, the First Overlord. A lot of fun. You can kind of see that there's a lot of, a lot of variety. Um, the Precipice of Darkness. These are supposed to be really good. Um, they're very, they're more adult RPGs, more adult humor, uh, from what I remember. Uh, almost kind of South Parky. Um, it's Ragnarok, Odyssey, Ace, an action RPG. Agoras War. I don't know much about Risen Three. I mean, just tons of stuff. Samurai Three. Samurai 4, White Knight Chronicles, I thought was very underrated, really good. Shooters, you can see there's a ton of shooters. Um, Quantum Theory, uh, if you decide to, to give this a shot, give PlayStation a shot, give it a shot, and check it out. And we'll see how many times I can say give it a shot. But um, <laughs> I played it, I remember playing it, and I don't think I was super impressed, but I may give it, you know, another try. Um, Enemy Front, don't know. Borderlands 2, yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Sniper Elite 3. Another fantastic game. I really like the Sniper Elite series because the sniping is really good, but if you get caught, you can shoot your way out of it. It's more of a third-person action with really good sniping, so it, it's not like a game where you just all you can do is snipe. Um, I've heard Ghost Warrior's not that good, but I'll check it out. I you know, want to have an open mind about it. Bioshock, yes. You have to play this game. Did I mention that? You absolutely have to play this game. Um, Resistance 3... I love the Resistance series. I thought three was pretty good. And I thought it was better than two, and and one was still the best in my opinion. But Killzone series I thought was good. Uh, oh, yeah, you can see what all the hype is not about if you want. Damnation was decent actually. Both Earth Defense Forces cool. Um, Lost Planet I loved. Um, not the not that one. This one, <laughs> the first one, was absolutely fantastic. Metro Last Light, yes, absolutely. Oddworld, Oddworld, Stranger's Wrath HD, fantastic game. Played it on the Xbox way back when. They've remastered it, all that stuff. It was. Uh, I haven't haven't got through on the PS4 yet because I did beat it on the Xbox. Great twist ending. Just really, really impressed. I love the Oddworld series anyway. And this one was very open world with, uh, it was just very original. Um, and I may do a let's play on that just to kind of show you. Um, may even do just um, some of these games just on the PlayStation now. I am going to pick a game pretty soon that you can guys can kind of see to see how it streams, see how it is. Because these all look great, but I don't know what the streaming is like. Haven't tried it yet. Uh, there's your Killzone Shadow Fall. It's all right. Um, some of these you're going to see several times because they break it out down into different sections which is fine. These are fighting games. If you just want to see the fighting section, um, and that's all you care about. Now this is, I mentioned that this was, I heard it was garbage. It's a lot like Smash Brothers, but with Kung Fu Panda. Um, 
and I haven't played it. So anything I say about it isn't, um, it, it's not informed. It's just I've heard. So, you know, I'll try to give it a shot. I try to give most of these shots so I can let you know. I'm Deadliest Warriors. I had people, when I worked at the game store, I had people that came in and loved it. It, it got pretty critically panned, but if you've ever wanted to play as different people from you know, different eras, different warriors from different eras that, you know, Genghis Khan fighting, you know, Napoleon or whatever it is, I don't remember all the characters, then this is the game for you, at least to check it out. I think it's a History Channel game, and those were kind of hit and miss, but um, again, Dead or Alive 5, there's another Deadliest Warrior if you like the other one. Um, they have different characters. You can see there's a Crusader there and stuff. Fighting Vipers, that's an old, old game. Again, Third Strike. Uh, um, Sonic the Fighters. So you can uh, just kind of see. I'm just going to go through these real quick. Okay, I think we're back. Um, frightful Games. So these are your scary horror type games. Silent Hill Collection. Um, that's one I think I want to do a Let's Play on. I love these scary games. But uh, that I heard is horrible, the Ghostbusters Sanctum of Slime. If you can get the one that's just the Ghostbusters, fantastic game. Absolutely underrated. Um, the one that has Bill Murray in it. This one isn't it. Just FYI. It's a, ter a terrible game. Uh, top down and, and just uh, absolute garbage. Okay, so we, I don't know what happened. Oh, I guess it just... Okay, so... Oh, Deception. Um, that's a different kind of game. It's more you set traps and things like that, but maybe something a little different. I like the Costume Quest ones. They're kind of fun. Casual Dead Rising. Um, just a lot of great stuff. Don't know what the last guy is. Um, don't know why Infamous 2 is... Oh, that's the vampire one. That's why. Festival of Blood is when he's a vampire. Um, just... Oh, Fear. Siren series of games. Zombies Must Die, Yes They Must, Tokyo Twilight Ghost Hunters. Um, I will be going through a lot of these. Falling Sky is a fun little MMO. I don't know if it's still going. Uh, apparently it's there, so it must still work. But uh, it was actually, they had a, a TV show at the same time that tied into this game. And they don't really have that TV show anymore. That was a 2D Blood Rain. It was decent. Um, I prefer the, the originals. like to see those redone. Indie games, you can see a bunch. It even has Braid. Check that out. Broken Brothers. Broken Brothers. <laughs> now I'm just kind of combining them. Um, Dead Nation Apocalypse Edition. The Baconing. Okay. If you guys haven't played um, these games, the the Baconing and... Um, oh, now I'm blanking out on what the series is called, but it's absolutely brilliant. Check out this game. Fun little kind of Diablo with humor. Um, making fun of a lot of you know, the hack and slash stuff, which is one of my favorite genres, but I heard this is a beautiful game, Untwined, The Fat Princess, Final Exam. Um, again, some of these I'll go back and play for you so you can see. But, uh, so some great indie games. Indie games, that's just A through B. Um, Rain. I Okay, it's not the one I think. There's a... Oh, Vampire Rain. If you see Vampire Rain ever, uh, run away. Terrible. This is not the same game. I had to remember that. Retro City Rampage. That's like a Grand Theft Auto 2D. Apparently really fun. Haven't played it. I, I will try to do that for you guys. Um, Crime and Punishment. Uh, kind of a whodunit kind of thing. Haven't haven't tried that one. Some puzzle games. Spelunky. Terraria. You guys know what Terraria is probably. If you don't, you probably don't care. Um, Trying... Mm, yeah, so interactive adventures. So these are ones that uh, a lot of quick time events, things like that. Heavy rain supposed to be brilliant. Never beat it. I know I should have. Uh, Wolf Among Us. I have a couple let's plays on that. If you want to see what that's like, and then the dark is crap. I played it. There was a lot of issues with it. It should have been really good. Um, Sam and Max. So a lot of adventure games here. If you like adventure games. The Sam and Max series is really funny. Uh, Strong Bad was... Uh, I don't know if you guys remember when he was really popular on YouTube. I don't know if he still is. Siberia. So you can check out a lot of these out. Um, you know, even if you want to try it for a month and just try some games you haven't had a chance to check out yet. You never know. You might, you might fall in love with a new genre. 
that's <laughs> really old Alex kid. <laughs> um, so they really have it covered. You know, I gotta say this is pretty impressive. Um, again, I, I do wanna. Oh, Knights, Knights into Dreams. That was a great game on Sega, on the Sega Saturn. Yeah, Sega Saturn. Um, was it the, into Dreams was Dreamcast, I believe. Either way, they 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 had the night. The original Knights was a Sega Saturn. It came with this really cool controller that no one had seen before. Um, side scroller, Hubert, Raiden, uh, all kinds of games. Uh, Rocket Knight, Bomberman Ultra, and hopefully my recording is is keeping up with um, with with the games that I'm highlighting. If it's not, I apologize, but you'll see them when I kind of scroll by them. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell until you finish recording. This is the first time I've actually used Delgado with the PS4. I normally just record straight through the PS4, but I wanted to show you the menu and it wouldn't let me do that without um, plugging it into the Elgato. So it'll let you record the gameplay, just not the menu stuff. So there you go, Paintball 2, if you're into sports or hunting games, uh, racing, NBA, I think they have 2K16 on here as well, Planet Mini Golf, Poker Nights, um, <laughs> with some, <laughs> that's funny, uh, some stars there, some racing, I mean, it, it, the cool thing about something like this is you get to try things you normally wouldn't. And you never know, Alien Spidey. And if you only like one genre, if you're like, I'm just a sports gamer, I would say this isn't for you. But if you're like me and you're like all kinds of game, I love playing NBA 2K16 sometimes, or 17 even, um, and Madden, and you know, but my real love is action adventure, RPG, shooters, you know, um, those style games. Horde, that was a fun little top-down dragon kind of game, Kung Fu Rabbit, I have no idea. So there's a lot of stuff, I'm surprised there's a lot of stuff I've never heard of. I suppose when there's 500 games, I've been playing games forever, and for me to find stuff that I, I wanted to try and haven't been able to try is pretty cool. So, E-rated kids games, so again, if you're a parent and, you know, you're, um, you like everything age-appropriate, this, you can go through this, uh, you know, A through, A through O, P through Z, of kids games Sonic Adventure and I love that game back in the Dreamcast um, sound shape and just tons of stuff you can see I mean I'm you know if you want to pause this during just to look at some of the games I would actually just go on and check it out and do the seven day thing and just make sure you don't you know I, I use a, a prepaid credit card or, or actually wallet points or whatever so um, but check these out pretty cool E10 games, these are, you know, for the older kids, I suppose, the blob, um, Ethan, again, I don't know a lot of these, I don't know why, Dragon 2, I, How to Train Your Dragon, How to Train Your Dragon is one of my favorite movies, not just cartoons, one of my favorite movies, period, I love dragons, um, the games have been miserable so far, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying, I'll give this one a shot just to see if maybe I'm wrong. But uh, Legend of K, I do have a Let's Play, I'm actually a review of that. Um, and if you remember, it's pretty fun, it's pretty decent, but um, it's not going to blow you away. Uh, another adventure game. So I played a lot of these, but not all of them. Uh, I'll probably go through some of the Adventure Time stuff. Azura's Wrath, Azura's Wrath is a really good game, but if you hate Quick Time stuff, stay away. Um, I got irritated near the end. That's just me, I'm not a big... I may don't make it a secret. I loved Until Dawn because they did it just really, really well. As does Asura's Wrath, but everything's really fast. So, Arcania, um, <laughs> B-movie goodness right there. Uh, a fun action RPG, but man, that voice acting. I'm just saying. Altered Beast, Alpha Protocol. I mean, I'm, I'm just, you know, going through all this stuff. And then you got it by letter. Um, so you can see there's a ton of stuff to play on here. I really do enjoy the Earth Defense Force if I play with somebody else, so kudos to that. El Shaddai. El Shaddai. Okay. Um, I, I know I've mentioned this before, but Eternal Sonata, I absolutely recommend trying. So, um, really, it's really cool. I mean, if you're looking for something by letter, they've got it by letter, they've got it by group. 
they've got to buy mature or, uh, or immature, you know, kids games, um, all kinds of stuff. So really, really cool, really impressive. The entire Uncharted series, obviously not Uncharted 4 yet. Um, I have a feeling they may put that on there at some point. But really cool, actually. So I may I may give this a shot, but then we, we need to do the, the ultimate test. And I'm going to check that out right now um, with... I already have a game in mind. The original Bioshock. So I have played this and beat it, but right now, and so when you click on it, it looks like you, they give you a little description before you start. Um, okay. Select, click to start. Okay. That's cute, I guess. Friendly warning, it's icon appears your connection quality has dropped. Save your game just in case. Okay, that's cool. They give you a little um, warning if your connection's dropped. So, we're, like I said, we're going to try a little Bioshock and uh, let you know, let you see kind of how it goes, if it stutters, if it's smooth. And again, I do have an Xfinity connection, and this is actually hooked up to uh, straight to the router. So, something to think about. You know, a lot of people say, oh, you need Wi Fi. If you can plug it directly in to your router with a broadband cable, I would do that just because it's always going to be better and smoother. Keeps this automatic glass fine, I don't care. Um, that's just my two cents. Now, I don't know, this, well, this is probably the PS3 one, I'm sure. They remade this for a PS4 as a collection, but I have a feeling this is probably the PS3 one, which is fine. I'm more worried about checking out the connection. So far, so good. But let's see how the moving around and the shooting and the things. Um, Uh, guys, I just love this game, I'm just saying. But, uh, yeah, so this is just going to be a real quick test. And you guys can decide if this looks good to you. I mean, I think so far, so good. A lot of great stuff here. Um, I'll, I'm going to do an update on this in a couple months to let you know if it's still enough for me to keep paying for it. Or if, like, you know, the excitement wore off or I don't really use it or uh, whatever that is. Okay, so we'll press the start button. No, that's right. No, 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 no. We'll do a new game. Let's see, left, right, adjust slider. Okay. Nah, that's fine. I don't care. Right now, I don't care. Okay, we'll just go with medium. Um, I don't want to go on hard right now because I'm just trying to prove uh, or see, test if this is going to be smooth or not. I'm not going to play through this game right now, but I have played it and beat it again. Absolutely brilliant. I still need to finish the third one and the second one, to be honest. But this one, I just it drew me in. For some reason, the second one didn't draw me in as much. It's still really good. But, um... They told me. Okay, so I'm not supposed to be moving yet, Son, so don't worry about that. You're special. You were born to do great things. And normally I'd keep quiet at this point. I like to, for you guys to be able to see the cinematics, but this isn't a walkthrough. It's more like a testing of the streaming capabilities. And and when I redo this like in a month or two, I will let you know um, after playing an hour or two or even a few hours how steady the streaming was. Because I do have a connection, but if Xfinity has issues, then my it doesn't matter how good, how strong your connection is. And I do have one of the better, I don't know the, you know, MPS or whatever, right? I know that I, I have one of the stronger connections. Not the latest and greatest, but but pretty close. So uh, anything that I have, so it generally wouldn't be for my, so if you see Sterling, wouldn't be for my connection. But I'll certainly let you know if that is the case. So... Still some of the coolest water effects ever. I think I played this on the 360 way back when. And was just absolutely taken back by this. So. So far, so good. Let's get inside and see uh, some shooting action. I don't see any stuttering. At least from my end. Hopefully it's, it's smooth. It comes out as smooth when you guys are watching this. If it doesn't, it's not. 
it's not on, on the uh, PlayStation Now streaming, it's, it's the Elgato. Of course, if it comes out too crappy, you won't even be seeing this, so. <laughs> that I promise you. So there you go. Great looking game, a little dark, but that's okay, it's dark outside. Hello. I don't know why it's so dark. Oh, there we go. I'm supposed to find lights. It's been a while since I played this. I think they're back here, though. Is there another flashlight? Oh, I can crouch. Okay. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. I gotta remember the controls. At least on here, anyway. Hold to activate selection radial. Okay. Fire plasmid. Map goals messages. Use first aid jump. Interact. Reload. Okay. So it has been a while since I played this. I think I'm just going to adjust, adjust the brightness just so you guys can see. I wouldn't recommend playing it this bright, but I do want to. There we go. It's a little better. So, so far, so good. I do want to get to a point where I can shoot something so you guys can see. And I don't remember. Isn't that terrible? It's been a long time. Where's the interact button? Pretty sure I'm supposed to interact with this. Go in here. Okay, let's. Oh, there we go. Okay. Game, you can just kind of see the colors a little look a little washed out. Um, again, I, I, I am playing it on a 4K, so I'm not sure if that has anything to do with it, <laughs> but I don't know. Anyway, um, great game. See if I can get out of here. Oh, I think I have to watch the cinematic real quick. So, this I is I did pick an older game on purpose. So, um, hopefully this isn't spoilers for you if you haven't played it yet, but it's not much at the very beginning, so it's not much spoilers. I just want to see how they're shooting, because sometimes you get these games, and they work just fine when you're streaming them, and they start shooting, and it just slows down ridiculously. Looks like someone's being smitten. Smit? Smited? Is that right? I smite you. Okay. Eh, that's enough talking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move on. Let me show my friends so we can move on with life. There we go. So, it actually still holds up pretty good. The enhanced editions look really good. They really did enhance it for, you know, higher resolution. Um, so it would be cool if they, you know, maybe put that on here at some point. Now, the one thing I don't know, and I'll put it in the description because I'll find out for you, is if they rotate the games. I know they add games, but I don't know if they rotate. Like, if you can, you know, if you're playing a game for a month and all of a sudden it's not there, 
because they change it. That's an important thing to know, so I'll certainly let you know about that. Get a little more details for you. But uh, I would say it's definitely worth checking out the seven days. Kind of see if there's stuff that you like. I tried to show you as much as I could. Um, I felt like the video was going a little, a little longer. I don't want to bore you guys to death. Hopefully it's not too late. Um, but I did want to let you guys know about this service. You know, and you be the judge. Maybe it's not worth it. It does seem a little pricey. I do think 20 bucks a month is a lot when they're asking. You know, I think there's there. Uh, PlayStation Plus is 50, 60 bucks now for the year. Plus, if you have an Xbox like I do, you also have Live. Plus, you know, Nintendo's coming out with their thing, and then there's EA Access on the Xbox, which is actually pretty good, and uh, all kinds of stuff. So that's kind of, you know, up to you. I mean, it is a lot of games. It's just if it's worth it to you. But so far, like I said, I, I am pretty happy with what they're offering. Um, but look for a follow-up in about a month or two. You'll see it'll say part two or something. Um, or follow-up or... Hi. Okay. So that's bad news. Died. Okay. Hi. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Ugly dude. Ugly dude that. I'm not sure what's going on here. Well, actually, I've never played this. I remember. I remember. I don't think I have a gun, though. Can I get out of here? Oh, good. Okay, there we go. Hi. Um, can you go away? Please go away. Okay, what do I have here? Oh, okay. Radio. I got a radio. I don't want to question Providence. I'm Atlas, and I aim to keep you alive. Can I get out now? We're going to have to get you to higher ground. New goal. Okay, good diagram. There we go. Raptures is dead. I spent so many hours just looking outside the windows. Especially when you go through this one tunnel and you can see the whale and all that. It's really quite cool. Really cool, really great art direction. Ryan doesn't own us. Just a bit That'll mean something to you later. Okay, I just want a gun. Get a gun. And I don't own a gun. Okay. Maybe I can jump. Oh, I can jump this. Not as hard as I made it. Can I get... Oh, there's a wrench. I'm about to fight. About to fight. There we go. Where are ya? Hi, freak. How's ever gonna come out? And it's been many moons. I beat this on the 360, then played it on the PC. When it came out on PC, and I haven't played it since... But I still remember the ending. I still remember most of it. Okay. I'll show you a beating. It's gonna be a beating. I am. Can I break this box? Okay. Maybe, oh, you know what? Maybe I gotta go back over there. So, as you can see, it's not, it's pretty smooth. I haven't seen any hiccups yet. I don't know what happens when you get in combat, which is kind of what I'm waiting for. Smash debris blocking the door. Oh, you mean the one in front of my face? Here we go. Okay. No three to crouch. Hey freak! Oh no! 
I'll move. Okay. Hi. Oh, hi. Little buddy guy, sorry about that. Oof. If you're squeamish. So there you go, I don't see any issues, it's running really smooth. Um, look for the update if you're not 100% sure on it, but at this point in time, very smooth sailing. So overall, um, I'm going to give it a month or two, probably at least a couple months, you know, just to kind of see if you know they add anything else, see if it's rotating. Again, I'll, I'll, I'll leave that answer in the description for you, I will look it up. Hopefully uh, I'll get an official answer from Sony. So, um, I don't know if this counts as drug use. I'm not sure. No, it's just health, right? There you go. You have superpowers, in case you didn't know. Um, I know a lot of gamers have played this, but in, just in case you haven't, tell me, man. I know I've said it a million times. Great game. So, there you go. I killed him. Um, so we're going to go ahead and stop this game. We'll quit. Not because I'm a quitter. Just because. Remember if you go back. See if you can go back to the menu from here. Okay. So it looks like the only way to get out. Let me see. Oh, I don't want to continue. That's not what I meant to do. So it looks like the only way to get out is to actually completely get out of the game itself. You know, you know hit the home button and exit out and all that. Um, again, if I find out different, I'll let you know. But that's what it looks like was happening. But there you go. Um, I will be playing some of these games, doing some streaming on some of these games, and I'll, I'll let you know if it's PlayStation Now, if it's streaming. Um, I'm going to leave any kind of mistakes, any kind of errors in the streams, just so you guys can know. Um, the only kind of thing I need to get used to with the controls, because controls work really well, except that the start button is actually on the touchpad on the right side, and then the other button is in the, the select button is on the left side of the touchpad. So you have to get used to that. I keep hitting the the um, options and the, the share button, and it, that's not what it is. But there you go. Um, smooth as butter. No, no issues here. And uh, thank you guys for joining me. And like I said, give it a shot. Maybe it's worth it to you. I, I don't know. Um, but there were, there were a ton of games. I tried to go through as much as I could. Uh, you know, this is already running, I think, pretty long. But I did, again, want to show you gameplay so you could see how it works in real time. Because it's one thing to say, look at all the games we have. And I've seen that before. I'm not going to mention any names. But it's the first streaming service I ever used on PC. Um, and it was constantly cutting out, kicking me out. And it had all these great games I couldn't get to. So thankfully, at this point... And I'm going to give it more, I'm going to test it more, but at this point, it looks looks like it's pretty darn smooth sailing. Alright, well, thank you guys. I love you all. Um, please do like and subscribe. And if you, if you want to see more of this kind of stuff, let me know if there is a service that you want me to try and review and rate. Um, let me know. Right now, I would give this probably a 9 out of 10, but you've seen this is the first time I've used this. Um... And not a 10 out of 10 because I think that it could be uh, a little more reasonable. Uh, to me, again, 20 bucks is a lot on top of everything else that you pay. And I think that it should be cheaper, especially. I think if I think they should have a PlayStation Plus and this bundled together, where you pay maybe you pay 80 dollars a year and you get this plus PlayStation Plus or something like that. But that's just my two cents. Let me know what you think. Um, but otherwise, if you're interested in this, it, it is it is a great alternative, and there were a lot of great games. And uh, for someone like me who records and streams a lot of stuff for you guys, this looks really this looks like a, a possible option. So I will again update you, let you know. Take care of yourselves. Love y'all.
See you next video.